Hello everyone, I'm Ryan on one here, and I'm just starting to let's play today. And you might be wondering how am I gonna manage to warm those hoes in the forest? Basically, um, next weekend, um, it'll be Tony Hawk Saturday and Mario Tennis Sunday, and then the week after that, it'll be Super Mario 64 Saturday, and I can just give away the new Let's Play. And. Mario Kart 64 Sunday, and then I'll go back to the other one. So, yeah. I know Mario 64 is a pretty overplaying game, but hey, I felt like doing it. So, I'm gonna do it. Even though it's overplaying, this player has the right to do it. You know how some currently did it? To which was fast when we came in in my year 64. And now I'm gonna start the game. If you watched various other Let's Plays that involve Letters and Peach, you'll know they always say Letters p plus Peach equal bad. And the cake is a lie. So yeah, I also own this DS remake, which it's a pretty remake, but I prefer the original over the remake. Sometimes the original is better than the remake. Yep, yeah. there it is. Our our fat Italian plumber. Child. Chow is like Chinese for I think hi. Oh wait, no, it's out of You've reached Princess Tozu's castle here on one pipe. You see, you see the controller is a piece of cake. Press A to jump and B to attack. Press B to read times two. Use the control stick in the center of the controller to move Mario around. Now I head for the castle. So yeah, I'm actually playing this on the original Nintendo 64 because I Rarely see an original Nintendo 64 Let's Play. It's either like emulator or virtual console. If you know any other Mario 64 Let's Plays that are on the original N64, tell me. So yeah, I better go with Mario's movie. If you run to a back and jump real quick, you do a back, I think, side somersault. When you see another jump, you do a backward somersault. Um, run, jump two times, a double jump, and run three times, a triple jump. Press the even air to do a ground pound in here, so... Wait, I think it's wrong. I think I did it wrong. Yeah, I like how Marty just turns the direction in the middle of his jump. It's cool. Um, run, press the even air to do a long jump. One of the best moves in the game. Press B to... Press... Yeah, running, press B to like do like I guess a body slide. Press punch, do a PVD kick, and then do it in air to do a jump kick. Let's read this one. There's a toast, which castle is just three. Press A to jump, speed to crouch, and B to punch. And when you're home, you press B to throw it. So let's head into the castle. Good afternoon, I'm Micah Two Brothers here reporting live from the outside Princess Pe Princess's castle. Mario has been alive from the scene and will be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power source. A seasoned cameraman will be shooting from the recommended angle, but you can change the camera angle by pressing the C buttons. If we can't adjust the view any further, we'll buzz. Take a look at the surrounding stop, press C up. Press A to resume play, switch all the buttons with the arm up button and signs along the way will reveal these instructions. For now, reporting live, this has been the Life of Two Brothers. Let's watch him fly. And he disappeared. Let's clap us to go. See, I'm sorry this is an overplaying game, but I just wanted to do it because I've had a lot of memories. This game is pretty fun. I'll have some extra videos, and yeah, let's go in. 
Meaning, my schedule will go back to the beginning of the video. Welcome, no one's home, now scramming, don't come back. Gua ha ha. Gua. Is gua even a real word? What the heck is a gua? Okay, now we're gonna get on to the first level. But first, I gotta see. Here's the main mechanic of the game is collecting the power stones. As you see here, when you please start to open the door. These stones you need keys, and these you need. For this one, you need eight stones. Here, there's here you need the third door. You need three and two doors is that you need more. And if and Bowser had locked this door, we wouldn't be able to beat the game. But he forgot because he Bowser's just an idiot. Now we're gonna dive into a Bob Bob. Okay, big Bob Bob on the side. Pretty simple mission. Wow, you're smack in the middle of the battlefield. You'll find the power source that Bowser stole inside the painting. First talk to Bob Bob Body, he'll certainly help you out, and so will his comments in the areas and blah blah. Um, we don't need to talk to him because I've played this game, but if this is your first time playing then I recommend you should talk to him. Now for that this game there are warps, but I'll show them later. Yeah, that big chomp is annoying. Very easy to dodge. Ow! How can water hurt you? Um, is it because of the pressure, but I never get got how in some games you can get hurt by water. Like, there's one game where you can get hit by the most ridiculous thing in life. You can get hurt by a cloud, you can even get hit by hurt by water. Water's supposed to help you, not hurt you. It's demon water. Okay, if you're not thinking the rewards, I know this in the first one comes the first and dash more a uh, power up as well as when you teleport. It looks different. Send me in just pits it looks like see for mine. I'm the big pop on Lord Old Blasting Matter, King of Kaboons, the world over. How dare you scale my mouth then? <laughs> Sorry. I just woke up. By what right do you have set foot on my imperial pool mountain top? You may have eluded my guards, but you'll never es escape my grasp. What's dumb is that some of these bosses tell us how to beat them. Can you pick me up from behind and hold me to the this floor of the turf? I think you can not. But if you throw them off the turf, then that counts as, well, it doesn't count. He says that you're not allowed to do that. Let me see trick. Oh, he fell. No fair. No fair. I he landed on part of it and then he fell back on it. Well that was you. Me thinks troops could learn a house for me. And there's the first song. I think when I notice that the DS remake stars just reappear and don't like. Well, I guess it, you just have to play DS, I can't really explain it. Okay, Big Bob Bob on the summit. You've recovered one of those stolen power songs. Now you can open some of the sealed doors in the castle. Giant Princess's room on the second floor, and the room with the painting on, of Wamp's floor on the uh, fortress on floor one. And what I'm gonna do in one point, I'm just gonna go for the game normally and get 70 stars, because the ending is slightly different if you don't have all the stars. And then I'll continue the game from where I left off. Okay. Now we're gonna go in the upper door first. We can actually acquire two power stars. Reacting the star power, the door slowly opens. Actually, Mario opens it. 
the street door. Um, right, right here's a letter I think a message Peach, how she did it without being, how, how she did that while being captured, we'll let her know. Okay, here's the princess's secret slide. And I can't believe the princess used to slide on this, because, well, there are bottomless pits. It just doesn't seem right. Princess would never slide on this. It's the parents. Why, how can we never see the king and queen of the Mushroom Kingdom? We only see the princess. And if you to get that star, you have to go be, you have to get to the end of the slide in under 21 seconds, which it could be possible without the shortcut, but you have that fast, but you have to have skills. Think about half, but I'm